Today I'm going to be making a trilobite fossil. Um, I took some black clay and I mixed it with a little bit of light blue and I t put a tiny bit of brown and I mixed it all up and uh, I mixed it with an exacto knife. Instead of squeezing it, I just like chopped it up and mixed it. That's why it looks like kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to take my tool and um, I'm looking at the drawing of one of these so there's a line that goes across about about like that and uh, there's a raised portion in the middle so I'm going to press down around it like that do it on the other side okay um uh, at the end of this line that goes across, there's a point that sticks out, kind of, and the body, okay, like, this is the head part, and this is the body. The head sticks out a little bit farther than the body, so I'm going to push in right here and smooth it out a little bit so that um, it's, like, sticking out a little bit. Now I'm going to add in some detail lines. They have a, a couple lines near the eyes. Um, you can't really see the eyes yet, but they're on each side of this bump. And then there's some lines that come out from the eyes. So there's a, a diagonal line that kind of goes like this. And another one on the other side. And then at the bottom of the eye, it kind of goes to the body, like that, kind of where the point thing is. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and uh, then push down where the eyes would be. This bumpy thing right here is the eye. Just smooth it out. If you have any um, lines, like scratches or whatever. And there's another line that kind of goes from the eyes around the bump. So just make a line like that. Okay, and uh, the tail has a line. Kind of about like here it's uh it curves downward so you have to kind of go like that okay now i'm going to add uh, another a little bit of a curved line that's pushed down around the edge i don't see this in all of them but some pictures have it so I'm just pushing down around the head like this. Okay, I keep messing up and restarting. That's why you see lines here. But uh, the idea is to get 12 lines between here and here. So you just, it has to go all the way across the body. On the bottom legs, they have to curve a little bit to match this tail section shape. Okay, now they have a line, kind of just more like an angle, that kind of goes like this. It's like a point. The The legs go like a, uh, to a point from here to here, like that. So I'm just going to push down a little bit 
and uh, try to make that. Actually, I'm going to push at this angle. And then I'll just uh, fix the. I'll just uh, fix that line again. But see, let me see how you can see this kind of like a. a there's like a knees or something. So I'll just do that on both sides. Okay. And then I'll just uh, fix the lines. Okay. Now for the tail. Okay, the the line I did kind of like for the head, around the edge, I'm going to do that for the tail, because it looks like some of them have that. So I'm just going to push down gently around the edge, like that. And then the, it has more, it, it has more lines that look like leg segments, but they're usually less deep on the tail area so, and they're harder to see sometimes so I'm just going to lightly and the, oh and a lot of times they're more curved so I'm just gonna try to make curved lines I don't know how many um I'm just gonna try to space them evenly this tool isn't really very good for that but I think it needs about four Let's see, one, two, three, four, like that. And uh, just continue it in this area. And uh, you don't have to make them so deep. And But they do have to get, continue into there, into that crack. So, I need, I need a tool that's more pointy. This doesn't really fit in here. Alright, kind of like that. Okay, here's my trilobite. It's just been cooked in the oven. And then after I took it out, I I polished it with a, a t-shirt, just a regular cotton t-shirt, and just rub it real hard until it's kind of shiny, like that. And then um, I'm going to add some paint into the cracks. Okay, I'm using kind of a light blue and I've got some black and you can't see it but there's white a little bit there too and I'm going to mix a light like a just a real light gray color a bluish gray and I'm going to put it all inside the just put it all over and then I'm going to wipe it off and then it will stay inside the cracks. Hopefully. I mean, I know it will, but... And you have to do this fast so it doesn't dry before you're done. Okay, and then I'm going to use a napkin. shouldn't really use a napkin, but... Um, like, a, a t-shirt is better. You know, a, a, a t-shirt you don't care about. Okay, and there. That's that's pretty good. Might add a little bit of different colors to it. Like uh, I'll make a slightly darker version and put it in just some of the places. Wipe it off again, and just you can just keep doing that until you're happy with the color. And then I'm going to buff it some more with a t-shirt. Okay, uh, now I'm going to make the rock. I, use, I like to use this this really bad, messed up old Sculpey whenever I can. Because uh, I got it real cheap. And I actually, if anytime I'm making something big, it's usually filled with this stuff on the inside. This stuff's really hard to work with because... Um, it's just not soft at all but if I chop it up in little pieces it and I uh, need it for I don't know 10 or 20 minutes or something it's slightly usable 
So I'm going to use some of this color for the rock. And I'm going to mix in some white and some black. And these are really soft, this bake shop. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a light gray with these, and I'm gonna mix in some of this. Okay, I've I've mixed it until I liked it. It's got a few stripes in different colored areas. Now I'm gonna pick a place that I like. Um, let's see, how about this part right here? Well, a stripe is nice. Um, I'll just pick this part right here and flatten it out and this will be your the way the part that you see on the rock so you can kind of see that part right there that stripe and just make any kind of shape you want but it should be flat kind of flat not smooth but just like a like a slice of rock and get it kind of the shape you want and then you gotta go outside and find a real rock you should wash your rock with soap and water and in a brush and let it dry and then take your clay and uh, find a good spot on the rock let's see I'm gonna start off with this flat part just push it on there and just uh, do that on all the sides okay when you've when you're done shaping your rock, your fake rock, take your trilobite and find a place to put it. Let's see. I think it should go like like that, I guess. And usually they're a little bit off center. So just put it however you like it, like that. And push it down a little bit. Well I guess make sure it's all the way in. Not all the way, but um about halfway and then um, usually when they find these they use a carving tool to to cut around the trilobite so you need to make shapes like it's been carved at so just to uh, do like this kind of at an angle and make little marks like a tool marks like you can like someone's been cutting at it kind of like that just around just right around him not not on the rest of it okay for the very last step I'm going to put I want to make a color kind of like the rock color but a little bit darker and maybe a little bit grayer. So I have I have black, brown, light blue, and white. And okay, now I'm going to just put it all over the rock and wipe it off. Now, now the, the rock is bigger than the trilobite so you have to be super fast. Okay, and then wipe it off. Oops, wait, I need to get this part over here. You might have to do this in several coats. Wipe, I'm gonna wipe away from the trilobite. Okay, and um, I guess I guess I need to do that area in there because it doesn't look right. So now here's where you got to be careful. All right. Um, I hope you liked it. And uh, remember to comment and uh, like and subscribe. And I thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.